We're back with our Archie gang, and today we're going to be working on Jughead. For Jughead, I'm going to be using a standard rainbow loom in the offset position. We have quite a few bands to go through here, so I will be using black, skin tone, purple, gray, what I'm calling chocolate red. It's the red color that comes in the special edition chocolate package, clear, white, camo brown, and I have one metallic burgundy band for the crown. So to start with, we're going to do the arms, and for that we're going to use purple and gray. And I'm going to put one of each, starting at the sixth peg from the bottom, and I will go down three times with one gray and one purple. And next I will be using skin tone and I'm going to put two skin tone bands two times down the right side. And this we will cap with a single skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and put a gray and a purple from the sixth peg from the bottom three times to make three links of one gray and one purple band. And again, we will put two skin tone two times finishing off that row. And we will cap this with a skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. And now we can loop these reaching inside the cap band and grabbing the bottom two bands and looping them forward. Do the same thing for the other side making sure we form our teardrop or raindrop shape as we go. And then we can remove this from the loom and place it on a holding hook and we will set this aside. Next we're going to do his ears and for his ears we're using skin tone bands and I'm going to take a single skin tone band and wrap it around my hook three times. I'm going to take another skin tone band and double it and I will slide these three loops onto the double loop band. And we can do that again for the other ear. Take a single skin tone band, wrap it around our hook three times, and then I will take another skin tone band and double it and slide these three loops onto that double looped band. And that will give us our ears, which we will also put on the holding hook and set aside. And for his nose, we're going to take a skin tone band and double it, wrap it around our hook three times, and we'll use another skin tone band and double it and slide the bands from the hook onto that band and because Jughead has quite a pronounced nose we're going to do that one more time. We're going to take a single skin tone band and double it and slide that onto there and this will give us our nose which I'm just going to leave here on my hook so I don't forget to attach it later. Next we're going to do his eyes and for that I'm using e-beads and I will need white bands and I'm going to take a single white band and double it 
and tuck the end of my floss through the white band and then slide an e-bead down the floss catching the end so that I can slide the bead down onto the band. I'm going to put this eye on my hook and we're going to do that again a single white band, double it, tuck in my floss and slide the bead down so that I can thread it onto the white band. You can use bands for the eyes if you wish and you would just take whichever eye color you want and double it and thread it onto a double looped white band. Whether you're using beads or bands, you will then take both eyes and thread them onto a single skin tone band. And we can then set these aside on our holding hook. Next we're going to make his sneakers and for that we can just use our hook. I'm going to take a white band and wrap it around my hook three times. Again we'll be using purple and gray together and I'm going to slide the white bands onto those purple and gray and I'm going to do that three times all together. So one purple band, one gray band, That's two times, one purple, one gray, that's three times. This will be his sneaker and I'm going to put it also on my holding hook and we're going to do that again for the other sneaker. A single white band, wrap it around the hook three times and then we will add a purple and a gray band three times. One, two, and three. And that gives us our second sneaker which we can also put on the holding hook and we will set those aside. Now, for the crown, I'm going to be using camo brown bands, clear bands, white bands, and again, my single metallic burgundy band. And what I need to do is make a 10 link chain. So I'm going to start from my third peg from the top and put one camo brown band and one clear band from the third peg to the fourth peg. And I'm going to repeat that all the way down the loom to the last peg. So one camo and one clear. I guess I should say brown one brown band and one clear band. And again, a brown and a clear. A brown and a clear. So again, we're making 10 links of this. One brown and one clear band going 10 times down our pin. There we go. For the peaks of the crown, we're going to take a single clear band, double it, and wrap it around our hook three times. We're then going to take a brown band and a clear band, 
and slide our clear band from our hook onto those two bands. And we're going to do that again. A clear band and a brown band and slide these on. And this we are going to attach to the fifth peg from the top. And we're going to repeat that a single clear band, double it, wrap it around our hook three times. We're going to take a brown and a clear and slide these clear bands onto those. And we're going to repeat that a brown and a clear. Slide the bands from our hook onto that. In this we are going to skip two pegs from our last peak and attach this to the third peg from our last peak. And we will do that one more time. We are going to take a clear band, double it, wrap it around our hook three times and take a brown band and a clear band and thread the bands from our hook onto the brown and clear band. And try to center it a little bit on those bands and Again, a brown and a clear band and thread the bands from our hook onto those two bands. And again, we are going to skip two pegs and attach this peak to the third peg from our last attachment. And now we are going to cap this last peg with a clear band wrapped three times around that peg and now we're ready to loop. So we're going to reach our hook inside our cap band, grab the clear and brown band and loop forward one time and before we loop the next one we're going to take a white band and wrap it around our hook four times so that we have four loops. We're going to reach in and grab the brown and the clear band and slide our white bands down onto those before we loop them over the peg above. Next, we can loop the next one, reaching in and grabbing the brown and clear band and looping it forward. We're going to do that two times and again before we loop over our attachment I'm going to take my metallic burgundy band and wrap it four times around my hook and reaching in to grab those bands I will slide the burgundy band down onto those bands before I loop them forward. Again, we can loop two times forward and we will take a single white band and wrap it four times around our hook. And we're going to reach in and grab those bands and slide our white band down onto those bands before we loop them over the peg. And now we can just continue to the end. making sure that we've got both bands and that we are forming our teardrop or raindrop shape. I'm going to take a single clear band and make a slip knot. So I'm going to reach my hook in, catching all of those bands 
and I will form my slip knot. And then I can remove this from the loom. And this we are going to set aside. And now we're ready to band our loom. So we're going to start with his hair and I'm using black bands. And I want to put two black bands and everything will be double banded. So two black bands from the first peg in the center to the second peg in the center. Two black bands from the first peg in the center to the first peg on the left. two black bands from the first peg in the center to the first peg on the right. And then we are going to go down the left side with two black bands two times. And the same thing on the right, two black bands two times. And now we can move to skin tone bands. And I'm going to put two skin tone bands three times going down the center. And for the neck, I'm going to use three skin tone bands continuing down the center. Moving back over to the left side, I'm going to put two skin tone bands continuing down the left and two skin tone bands from the fourth peg on the left to the fifth peg in the center. We're going to do the same thing on the right side, continuing down the right with two skin tone bands and two skin tone bands from the fifth peg in the center to the fourth peg on the right. Next we're going to move down to his shirt and we're going to use two white bands continuing down the center And then I need a purple and a white from the sixth peg on the left to the sixth peg in the center. A purple and a white from the sixth peg in the center to the sixth peg on the right. Next, we're going to move to purple and gray bands. And again, one of each. And we're going to go four times down the left side with a purple and a gray band. And it doesn't matter which order you put them in. You can put purple first and then gray or gray and then purple. It doesn't really matter as long as you have one of each on the pegs. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. A purple band and a gray band four times going down the right side. And continuing down the center, we are going to put a purple band and a gray band three times going down the center. And for his pants, we're going to be using the chocolate red. So I am going to put two red bands continuing down the center and two red bands three times going down the left. And three times going down the right.
And to close off his pants, we are going to use two chocolate red bands from the third peg in the center to the fourth peg on the left and the third peg in the center to the fourth peg on the right. And we're going to cap this with a red band wrapped three times around the peg. Now we're ready for our holding bands. I'm going to take a single black band and put it around the second peg in the center and the first peg on the left and the right. A single skin tone band around the second peg on the left and the right and the third peg in the center. I'm going to skip the third pegs because that's where the eyes will go and I'm going to put a single skin tone band around the fourth pegs on the left and the right and the center. Moving down to the shirt, I'm going to use purple bands and put a single purple band around the seventh pegs on the left, the right and the center. Again on the eighth pegs and the ninth pegs and I'm going to put a chocolate red band around the tenth pegs on the left, the right and the center. And now we're ready for our attachments. And actually before we do that, I think his legs are looking a little short, so what we're going to do is take the chocolate red bands, two of them, and add them to his feet before we attach them. And we're going to do that two times. And then we can attach this to the bottom peg on the left. We're going to do the same thing for the right side and before we attach the sneakers we are going to add two red bands two times. And then we can attach this to the bottom peg on the right. Next we have his eyes, which are going to go on the third peg down from the top on the left. We're going to separate the eyes and put one of the bands around the third peg in the center and attach the other side around the third peg down on the right. And we'll move his eyes to the front. Next we have his ears and they will go on the second peg down on the left and the second peg on the right. And then we have his arms which will go on the sixth peg down from the top on the left and the sixth peg from the top on the right. To attach his crown, you need to find the side that your white and burgundy bands show up and the bands that are underneath the peaks. So what we want to do is take the two bands that are in the back of that teardrop shape underneath the peak and we are going to attach that to the first peg on the left. The next peak we are going to reach in and grab those back two bands and put them around the first peg in the center. And the same thing for the last peak. We're going to grab the back two bands of that teardrop shape and put them around the first peg on the right. And we will close up that crown when we when we take him off the loom. So now we're ready to loop and we're going to start in the center and reach inside our cap band and grab the top two bands and they are going to go over to the right and the next two bands are going to go to the left and now we can continue down the left and grab the bottom two bands of his pants and loop them forward.
and we're going to go all the way up to the neck, reaching inside, grabbing just the bottom two bands, and looping them forward. We want to make sure that we stay inside the holding bands and that we are forming our teardrop or raindrop shape. And again, we're going to go to the neck. So we want to reach in and grab the purple and white band and loop them over the sixth peg in the center. We're going to go down and do the same thing on the right side, reaching inside our attachments, grabbing the bottom two bands, and looping our teardrop shapes forward. And you may notice that in the photo that I've used to design Jughead, he had a letter on his shirt, which I have opted to omit because this tutorial was advanced enough and I'm just going to give him a plain old shirt. So now we can loop up the center, making sure that we're grabbing both bands and having formed our teardrop or raindrop shape as we loop ahead. Once we get to the neck, we want to make sure that we grab all three bands of the neck and loop them forward. And then we can reach in and grab the top two bands and loop them to the right. The next two bands will go over to the left and the last two bands will go forward. We can now loop up the left side, staying inside our holding bands and looping forward. Again, you want to make sure you don't catch the eye band or the ear bands, that you're just grabbing the bottom two and looping them forward. And again, around the crown, make sure that you only grab the bottom two black bands and loop them up over the center peg. We're going to do the same thing on the right side reach in and grab the bottom two bands only and make sure that we're forming our teardrop shape as we go. And again we will loop to the center peg at the top and now we can loop up the center and this is where we attach our nose so we're going to grab those bands between the fourth and third peg and slide our nose down onto that band before we loop them over the third peg. And now we can loop our last two sections, grabbing both bands and looping them forward. And we want to check and make sure that we have looped all of our bands that we haven't missed any. And then we can go ahead and attach our slip knot band. And we're going to reach down inside all of these bands on the top center peg, grab a single black band, and pull it through. And I want to go inside my crown so that my slip knot band is not showing. So I'm going to reach my hook in through those bands and grab my single black band. And I'm going to pull it through to the back and then form my slip knot. And give that a little tug. And now we're ready to remove this from the loom and we're going to start at the bottom. and carefully remove this.
When we get to the neck area, there are a lot of bands there, so I'm going to just roll my hook around that peg to help loosen them up so that we don't stretch the bands. And the rest should come off fairly easily. And there we go. He doesn't look like much when he first comes off the loom, but he just needs a little tweaking and he'll be good to go. So we're just going to straighten him out. I'm going to move his eyes to the front and adjust his nose. We're going to attach a mouth and I'm going to use a white band to represent teeth. A single white band. So I am going to put my hook in through in the mouth area. I'm going to grab a hold of this white band and pull it through to the back. And I'm going to put my hook from the back to the front. Again in the mouth area. Grab a hold of this white band and pull it through to the back. And then I can secure these two loops with a C-clip. Then I can remove my hook. And we're going to reach in and adjust his mouth. And now we need to fasten his crown into a circle. I'm going to take my hook and put it in through the loops of the cap band. And then I'm going to grab the clear band of my slip knot and pull it through the cap band, essentially forming another slip knot. And I'm just going to give that a little tug until the crown reaches itself again in the back. And I am just going to attach this clear band to the C-clip that I already have here. and we can adjust the peaks of his crown. I'm going to adjust his ears a little bit so that they're in the right position. Again, I will fix his eyes and his nose. And I want his arms to be down at his sides a little bit, so again, I'm just going to give them a little tug. You can also put your hook in through all of the teardrop and just give it a little tug. And the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to pull the bands until his arm is down at his side. I'm going to squeeze his waist a bit at the center. I didn't want it as defined as it would have been with a doubled band here at the waist, but and now we're going to adjust his sneakers and I am going to find the first teardrop after my cap band and I'm going to put my hook in and just give that a little tug to the side. And this is just to define his foot a little bit and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put our hook down through the teardrop shape and give it a little tug to the side so that his foot goes to the outside a little bit. And he is wearing high top sneakers in the photo. That's why I've used two links of purple and gray bands there and I am going to bend this arm at the elbow by putting my hook in through and just giving it a little tug and that will raise his hand in a little wave. And there we have it. This is Jughead Jones from the Archie Comics series and thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say or see what you come up with if you try this. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got lots more coming up with Archie, Big Brother 16, 
Uh, we still have some Stampy Cat long nose figures to do, plus lots, lots more. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.